Hello everyone. So, we have reached to the last uh, section of our course clothing comfort. In this segment, we will discuss the comfort related aspects of garment fit. Now, garment fit ultimately whatever we produce, we select fiber, perfect fiber we select, then perfect yarn we can produce, perfect fabric we can produce for a, a specific condition, specific activity level or specific environmental condition. But if we cannot develop the finished product, right finished product with perfect fit, then our total effort of fiber production, yarn production, fabric production will go waste. So, garment fit is extremely important which is actually give which gives a final product and it is directly related with our comfort. So, here we will discuss the issues related with the garment fit. Now, first let us try to understand why garment fit, what is the importance of garment fit and how are these factors control the comfort sensation. The important attributes affecting the garment related comfort is the size of the garment, whether it is a loose or it is a tight, it is a fit of the garment, how well it is actually covering our body, how well the fabrics, how uniform uniformly the fabrics are in touch with our body, how much pressure it is exerting on our body. So, this all these things are related with the garment fit and these are actually these are the factors which govern the garment related comfort. Here we our assumption is that our fabric which you have got cloth which you have got, it is a perfect, perfect for comfort, perfect as far as the tactile sensation is concerned, perfect as far as the heat uh, transmission is concerned, perfect as far as moisture transmission is concerned. Now, the fit of garment depends on the size of garment and design of garment and these are the there is a relationship between the size of body and size of garment. This there has to be correlation between the size of body and size of gar garment. So, that if we can maintain all this then we can ultimately achieve the comfort. So, perfect fabric cannot give, cannot incorporate or cannot produce perfect comfortable clothing if we do not consider that fit as an important factor. Okay. So, how to judge the fit? So, clothing is expected to conform our body shape. That means, if we are, if we develop a clothing, if we actually stitch a clothing which actually does not conform our body shape, okay. so that will give us the discomfort sensation and that in that case body will not, it is not of good fit. if a, it is a less than our body size, 
that means that will give that will either not fit in a, to our body or it will unnecessarily exert pressure on our body. And it is a nearest environment which are always in touch with our body and third one is that it should be able to synchronize with our body movement. If it restricts our body movement then we will feel uncomfortable. In that case we will not tell that the fabric is of good fit. So, based on this the fit judgment ultimately we will have two types of comfort mainly as far as fit is concerned. It is a tactile comfort which is always sensation of touch as we have discussed and aesthetic comfort. So, the comfort related to fit depends on the mass of the clothing. What is the what is the total mass of the clothing? Ease of movement of the clothing over skin that is surface friction and surface roughness synchronization with our body movement that is shear. If I am moving my hand the clothing has to conform the this uh, change in my posture and that takes place with the that is due to the shear characteristics of the clothing. If a fabric is made of uh, clothing is made of a fabric with high shear resistance that will give us uncomfortable, but and if the surface roughness is high that will give us uncomfortable in nature. If the fabric mass is high that will give us the uncomfortable nature and if the pressure exerted on the body surface is high. Now, these are the parameters like mass of the clothing it is not in our control if we talk about only fit friction and surface roughness we cannot always expect the fabric will be of proper friction and surface roughness. Sometime if we want to have a fabric with higher thermal insulation if our requirement is of higher thermal insulation if our requirement is of very thick fabric mass per unit area will be high the roughness sometime we require and sometime we may require a fabric with very stiff in nature like a coated fabric a coated fabric is sometime required for say protective clothing and in that case shear rigidity will be very high and that will not confirm our body movements it will not be synchronized with our body movement and we have the fabric and we we need to use that fabric for some specific purposes like for example the for firefighter clothing or for some any other uh, protective clothing we may have to use a clothing with higher mass per unit area higher friction or surface roughness may be higher shear rigidity and sometime we may have to have a fabric with higher pressure depending on the like swimmer suit. So, higher uh, pressure is required or so if we have to use this fabric and if we want to incorporate the comfort in that case only thing we can do by adjusting the feet of the clothing. Here feet is important very commonly we have seen that it is a for say protective clothing we have higher mass higher roughness higher shear rigidity we 
always try to use a fabric or develop a clothing of loose in nature, because it should not restrict our body movement, okay. it should not have actually the higher friction with the skin and the mass per unit area is actually related with the warmth of the clothing uh, we have discussed earlier also. So, that if we can take care of this by controlling the, the fabric fit, we will be able to incorporate the comfort and by adjusting the fabric fit, we can provide the ventilation in the clothing. If we can provide the ventilation, proper ventilation, all these above factors will be minimized as far as comfort is concerned. Okay. So, the sensory response of clothing comfort is feel of the fabric on the surface of the skin, that is one aspect as we have just discussed, and another is the garment feet sensation. That means, if we can change the feet, change the actually make it loose feet or make it tight feet, that sensation is also important. So, this part we have discussed which this is with the skin surface, tactile sensation, this contact thermal sensation perception of moisture, abrasion, these are the things we have already discussed here earlier. Now, we will discuss the only with the related to the garment fit. So, garment fit if we consider here, it is of two aspects. One is overall pressure, general pressure sensation of the body, another is localized pressure sensation. It actually it is it applies a pressure at certain body part. So, these two sensations are important which are related with the garment fit. So, what are the effect of badly fitted garment? So, how this badly fitted garment affect our comfort sensation? So, it restricts cardiovascular flow if it is say very tight. So, it will actually restrict our cardiovascular flow, causes skin irritation. So, fabric with rough surface, if we produce a clothing of tight fit, then it will give a sensation of irritation, unpleasant thermal and moisture condition. It sometimes it creates uh, moisture, if we can control the microclimate condition. So, it results overall discomfort. So, this all this we can control by fit, proper fit. All the negative aspects of clothing, fabric, we can to some extent eliminate in by proper designing of clothing and by proper selection of fabric fit. So, to design a clothing a proper fit either requirement as per requirement loose fit tight fit. So, we should know the body dimension and the pattern we are not going to discuss pattern here in detail, but as pattern is related with the garment fit we should just try to see what are the challenges in pattern uh, making and fit fitting of garment, most basic pattern also require complex decision related to dimension. So, it is a it is not that simple. So, what the in the designing clothing for specific individual also pose tremendous channel challenges the fit design and comfort aspects. So, simple designing of clothing is it is a it is not that simple. So, feet design and comfort aspects we have to see some now the technological developments in computer and software helps in developing pattern 
analyzing anthropometric data and drafting clothing pattern and designing and manufacturing clothing. These are the things which software can help us, but ultimately the pattern it is not that easy. Okay. So, technological development helps in study of large scale anthropometric data, development of models, sizing material for mass production. So, this uh, for mass production, so anthropometric data can be taken from the particular population and clothing can be designed. Okay. This is one aspect which is actual at presently it is available. So, if we go to any shop we can just take the uh, particular uh, size of the garment and that may fit it is basically depending on the data it is a mass data has been taken generally it fits to us. But sometime custom made clothing is uh, produced it is more accurate and advantage is that it is a cost effective solution. So, once my body scanned data is taken and it can be multiplied. So, if the my body dimension is taken if it is stored and then automatically that is can be reproduced. Okay. So, pattern dimensions can be obtained by taking it is a normal it is normally we do it is a taking linear measurement length circumference of a body part applying this pattern in predetermined manner. So, that way we can use we can develop our clothing. So, it basically main disadvantage is that it needs a skilled technician. Okay. So, it may it is not uh, everyone cannot do from a linear dimension to convert it to a garment. Another method is the visual assessment of body configuration photographic method from there one can develop clothing pattern and it needs high expertise. So, two methods one is linear measurement of pattern another is the, the photographic method. Okay. So, photographic method and linear measurement one can get the correlation. So, from there one can develop a pattern. Okay. So, it was found that photographic model has predicting power in determining the pattern. So, a photographic model is a, it is a less intuitive more effective with regard to time effort and cost. So, it is proposed that photographic method can be applied. Okay. Now, we will see the how the garment fit is related with the comfort sensation. So, loose fit garment if the garment is of loose fit in nature it entraps more steel air. So, more steel air entrapment means the microclimate is filled with the steel air it will be have higher insulation. Large opening in neck, waist, wrist and ankle. So, loose fit garment if it is there if we cannot cover this place it is a, if it is opening. So, that means proper uh, high ventilation will be there. In windy situation or in higher body movement this will create total bellow effect. So, that will reduce the thermal insulation less moisture vapor resistance because moisture vapor will not actually pass through the fabric it will try to get escaped from through the openings at neck waist wrist and ankle this position and it generally it is worn as casual or outer garment. So, loose fit garment is now coming to the tight fit garment here the issue of thermal transmission and moisture vapor transmission is there, but in addition to that it is a it start 
applying pressure on our body. So, garment pressure is also there, it fit all the contour of our body, it touches all the contour of our body. So, tight fit garment we can see any tight fit garment like uh, swimwear, it is a tight fit garment, compresses core muscle groups. So, it, uh, it compresses the muscle, garment should not be so tight that it restricts freedom. So, if we consider the garment is made of say oven fabric, so and tight fit garment it will definitely restrict our body movement because the oven fabric made of normal yarn is not that extensible. So, normal fit garment not so tight, but provide thermal and moisture transmission at appropriate location. So, that is the this type of garment is important this is the loose fit garment for outer jacket and, and tight fit garment just uh, it is a it gives the body contour. Now, try to see couple of studies here. in one of the studies two pairs of clothing were taken one is made of tweed another is made of denim and there one is loose fit another is tight fit garment and there trousers were made and thermal insulation was measured in standing mannequin. So, mannequin uh, standing condition it is measured at certain air velocity. So, what it is observed that the loose fit trouser having higher thermal insula insulation than tight fit trouser, because the mannequin is standing the steel air is entrapped more in case of loose fit garment. In another study three different clothings were taken four different postures two for loose fit and two for tight fit and walking and sitting. Sitting and walking condition loose fit and tight fit and the study was carried out at different wind speed. Now, what observation they have found they have concluded that tight fit clothing so 6 to 31 percent less insulation than loose fit clothing that when it is a basically sitting in sitting condition the tight fit clothing gives less insulation. Higher differentia difference in insulation found in sitting position that means, when the in a sitting position a tight fit and loose fit the difference is approximately 31 percent, but when he is walking the difference actually dropped down to 6 percent, which means that loose fit garment is not giving that insulation when he is working, working due to ventilation and bellow effect and all this. And lower difference in walking and in presence of wind, so different wind speed at the higher difference, higher wind speed the difference between the tight feet and loose feet becomes less. In walking condition the difference between tight feet and loose feet is less, in sitting condition it is very high. Okay. So, a person a sitting idle with a less wind speed will give will uh, with the loose fit garment will give him warm. That means, in cold climate a person if he is wearing a loose fit garment and sitting sitting in a rest position he will feel warmth. Now, coming to the another aspect it is a pressure that is it depends on the 
pressure and feet related comfort is also depend on the thermal and moisture perspective. If it is hot and humid climate, even a small increase in pressure give us discomfort sensation, but in a air condition cold and dry humid dry condition, even if the pressure is high, we will may not feel that much discomfort sensation. It is related to the, the touch and pressure sensation. So, for warm humid condition, if we wear a tight fit garment, we may feel uncomfortable. Prickle sensation will start as we have discussed earlier, because the hot and humid climate tight fit garment will give us prickle sensation. A same fabric if we have to wear to reduce the prickle sensation, if we make it loose fit garment, it will prickle sensation will to some extent reduce. Sensation of surface texture that means, pressure sensation that if the surface is rough and a rough fabric if it gives higher pressure it will give discomfort sensation. Friction between clothing and skin if it is tight fit it will give us the discomfort sensation and obviously, the pressure sensation and this pressure sensation are related to all these factors. So, there are basically two categories of tactile sensation, one is somesthetic sensation, touch response from the nerve in the surface of the skin that we have already discussed, tickle, prickle, abrasion sensation, another is that kinesthetic sensation, the deep pressure, okay. deep pressure sensation and this is actually related with the garment fit. So, although the uh, this uh, touch response sensation related with the uh, garment fit, but kinesthetic sensations are directly related created by the resistance of the garment to movement. So, if it is tight fit, so garment will not allow the body free movement of body weight of the garment in response to the movement. So, dynamic interaction of garment is that it takes place during the movement of the human body and generates multi directional force and which results pressure sensation. Now, overall for a for tight fit garment if we see overall discomfort sensation it starts from 60 to 100 gram per square centimeter pressure. If a garment tight fit garment we are talking about tight fit because normal garment the pressure range is different we will discuss. In normal garment it is around 25 gram per square centimeter and what we are try, uh, trying here a tight fit garment we are producing we are actually wearing we knowing that the fabric will give us the uh, pressure it will it is pressure is required in that case even in that case the pressure if it is increasing beyond 60 it will give us a discomfort sensation and it varies among various part of the body because 60 to 100 that is the range varies from person to person okay that in that range per person will feel discomfort and the factors which affect the pressure is a style feet and mechanical properties of the fabric. Style we have discussed feet we have discussed and mechanical properties means the stretchability of the fabric, it is elastic recovery of the fabric that will actually directly affect the discomfort sensation of pressure. If a fabric of rigid in nature, it is not extensible. In that case, 
the pressure will be very high when we start our body movement. So, this is the typical example of a range of pressure developed by different types of fabrics. Swim wear it is 10 to 20 grams per square centimeter, modern uh, modem corset 30 to 50, knitted foundation garment 20 to 20 uh, 35. So, these are the ranges of the pressures and if the pressure increases beyond that beyond 60 then we will feel discomfort due to the pressure. Now, if we want to reduce the pressure the comfort discomfort due to pressure. So, we have to know the garment in relation size of the garment in relation to our body and this relationship is expressed in terms of degree of space allowance which is expressed in terms of f. So, what is that? It is the difference between the surface area of the garment and the body. If we take our total body area and take the total surface area in square meter that difference is called space allowance that is f is a g minus a b body area that is a garment area. And the based on this f value degree of space allowance the garments are classified into three categories. One is the foundation garment where f is less than 0 that means, f is negative means the a g is less than garment size is less than our body size which is used for foundation garment that means, it is expected that the garment will in a insert pressure on our body this is required like compression bandage or compression garment. So, it, it is actually meant for the for applying pressure in our body. Next is the perfect fit garment where the body size is equal to the garment size and loose fit garment f more. So, depending on the value of f degree of space allowance one can predict the type of fabric type of pressure it will generate. So, foundation garment is known we know that loose fit garment is also it is it is known. Now, perfect fit garment if we develop a perfect fit garment f equal to 0 then it is a it is not that simple it sometimes creates problem in the sense if the fabric is not extensible then it will restrict our body movement. Similarly, in foundation garment obviously, fabric is should be extensible. Now, foundation garment it is mainly designed to apply certain pressure on our body okay. when body is in active condition or body is in rest condition. So, it has some purpose for that the foundation garment is used and garment area is less than the body area that the example is that some specific close fitting foundation garment pressure garment. Next is the perfect kit fit garment. The garment area is exactly equal to the body area. So, we have developed a perfect fit garment what to do with that perfect fit garment because it restricts body movement as a result of garment pressure. So, this garment fit garment is normally is of no use if we do not care about if we do not take care about the the extensibility of the fabric. So, it will not apply any pressure on our body if we are rest if we are not moving unlike the foundation garment. Foundation garment is supposed to apply pressure when we are at rest, 
but in this case if we start moving then the garment will restrict our body movement it will apply our uh, the pressure on our body and uh, it does figure shaping foundation okay, fun function. So, it will actually sometime it is required to for figure shaping the example is that tights, socks, body stockings are there examples and these are made of mainly knitted structure because the restriction of body movement has to be reduced and this is reduced by the knitted structure which is inherently extensible in nature. If we have to use woven fabric then you have to use a fabric of extensible in nature extensibility should be high like a fabric should be made of some extensible fiber and loose fit garment where garment area is more than the body area the movement of body reduces the space allowance. So, it does not restrict the body movement, but as the body movement increases it reduces the space allowance and it continuously changes the microclimate thickness continuously changes with the body movement and sometime it may exert pressure to a specific area specific contact area it is not the overall pressure sensation loose fit outer wear casuals sometime it exert pressure in some places. So, there are what we have, what we have observed that there are three types of fitness garment fit. So, depending on our requirement depending on the on our comfort requirement depending on the thermal comfort or tactile comfort requirement we have to select the type of fit. So, if we and also depending on our the type of fabric. So, the factors which affect the garment pressure are design and fit of the garment. So, garment pressure varies significantly and it depends on the design and fit of the garment. A proper fit garment with wrong design creates higher pressure for a particular place. Shape of the body part that is obvious and mechanical properties of underlying tissues and mechanical properties of fabrics. So, a fabric with rigid structure like uh, elasticity is less or uh, tensile rigidity is high that fabric will give us higher pressure. A fabric with higher bending rigidity will exert higher pressure. A fabric with higher shear rigidity will give us higher pressure. So, this mechanical properties of fabric is also important and feet of the garment as we have discussed. So, if we have a fabric with highly rigid structure and uh, higher uh, uh, bending rigidity, we should go for the loose fit garment. So, all these parameters we have to take into consideration to have proper garment pressure and pressure applied by the garment mainly depends on the extensibility of the fabric as we have discussed higher extensibility will exert less pressure on the body fitness of the garment and style of the garment that we have just uh, discussed and important for tight fitting garment. So, this for tight fitting garment all these parameters are important. So, we have to select fabric properly. Okay. So, in the garment pressure the garment should be designed to give optimum pressure more or less skin tight to accommodate body movement a fabric should have 
optimum for optimum pressure should have lower tensile modulus in multi direction. So, if we want to uh, impart uh, optimum pressure, we should select a fabric with lower tensile modulus, higher effective elastic recovery. So, that means, it should be the it should recover properly and to ensure that the garment does not become loose and buckle on body parts, because if the extensive elastic recovery is not proper after stretching the fabric may be uh, loose or it is a it is a may be uh, buckled okay, and accommodate the body movement. So, if we can develop if we can take care of these parameters of fabric this characteristics of the fabric we can actually control the garment pressure related sensation and comfort related to the garment pressure. So, we will continue with this uh, garment feet and uh, pressure related uh, discussion and we will discuss few studies in the next segment till then thank you. Thank you.